I didn't even know that we were making banana splits today. This one doesn't work though. I didn't look over any of this. I don't know what I'm doing, just to let y'all know. What's up, it's your boy Murder Beats, and today we're going to make a banana split with the Young Murder recipe. I just dropped my single, Banana Split, featuring YNW Melly and Lil Dirt. So I just thought it was like a great quarantine thing to do, making some amazing, delicious banana splits for y'all. So Fuse sent me a box of a whole lot of ingredients. We got some Hershey's chocolate syrup, ice cream salt. You know, we're gonna be making homemade ice cream. Obviously bananas, some Captain Morgan spiced rum, just to spice it up a little bit. No one's gonna get drunk on that. None of that's gonna happen. Vanilla extract, some sprinkles, Hershey's cocoa, some cane sugar, brown and white. We don't discriminate. We got some of this, it's like canned milk. Never seen this in my whole life. Cinnamon, nutmeg. How do I do this? I'm actually not supposed to know what to do. Oh shit. Um, okay, wait, wait. I don't cheat. I'm gonna start with the heavy whipped cream. I'm gonna say one cup. One cup. <laughs> I can cook a little bit. I can bake. I'm really good at breakfast. But honestly, I don't even know how to make a banana split from scratch. I'm very used to just like buying them. Then I'm probably gonna go white sugar. I'd say like half a cup probably. And then probably some vanilla extract. And then probably some egg. But I'm just going to take the yolk. I learned a lot how to cook in high school, you know, like the cooking classes and stuff. That's kind of like where I learned the basics and I've just been practicing at home as well. I grew up in a town of 30,000 people. There wasn't a lot going on there. Everybody wanted to be like hockey players and I couldn't really skate. I was just like into music from my parents, my dad, my uncle and stuff. My dad wanted me to play guitar since I was like four years old, but I would always go over to my uncle's house and I'd play drums. I would just like put on headphones and just play along to songs. That's how I taught myself. And the same thing with making beats. Like I just taught myself how to do it. I would like listen to songs, recreate stuff. I started making beats in high school and that's like when I knew that that was like the career choice I wanted to do because I didn't know what I wanted to be. Like I didn't know what I was doing. The most important part of the ice cream process is the chef cooking it, and that's me today. This is like the prime time cooking show, and Chef Rhoda in the kitchen. All right, I'm gonna taste it. Mmm, that tastes fire. This tastes like amazing vanilla ice cream right now. It tastes like McDonald's. So then like when I started making beats, probably like three, four months into making beats, I wanted to get into like a big scene. At that time, the big scene was the drill scene in Chicago. So I met some of these rappers that I wanted to work with on Twitter and I went down to Chicago, picked it with these guys, you know, like worked on a lot of stuff. And that's really like how like I built, I built my brand. I'm sorry, it's like very hard to like tell my life story and cook at the same time. <laughs> So my creative process is very creative. I kind of just like go with my inspiration, like however I'm feeling, you know? Like I might start with drums, I might start with melodies, I might cook something up, I might hit one of my boys to send me something to start with. I might go online and go listen to some old songs and sample something. I might hear something in an elevator when I'm walking through a hotel in India, or like it could be like some crazy, you know? It could be anything really. Should we change this one up, switch it up a little bit? We're gonna do two cups, so we're gonna see which one's the best. I'm gonna put two eggs. We're going big this time. I'm gonna put the whole egg in. Just the yolk for the second one. A cup of sugar. I'm gonna open up the cocoa powder because we're doing chocolate ice cream. We're gonna do a, a cup. Actually, half a cup. Some nutmeg in there. Cause I see like nutmeg is like an ingredient in like a lot of stuff. A little bit of cinnamon. What inspires me to make music is my dad. I lost my dad five years ago now, and he's like my main inspiration of why I do the things I do. So shout out to him, you know? I think it's going good. This one's a lot more thick. I'm gonna add a little more cream to it. My style is a mixture of the ambience of Toronto and the dirty south hard hitting drums of Atlanta. All right, so here we go. The formula of cooking a successful beat with Young Murda is a fun melodic melody and hard hitting drums. I'm gonna put a little vanilla extract in there. Mm. I don't think I went wrong though. It, I th it tastes decent, like, it's not bad. Maybe I put a little too much um, nutmeg in there. It's missing a little bit of milk. A little more vanilla extract, a little more cream. Wait, let me. 
gonna put some chocolate syrup in here to give it like a little more of like a chocolatey taste. I'm gonna add a little more sugar in there. Can't go wrong, you know, just a little bit. I'm gonna add some brown sugar too. It's that wrist game. You gotta have that wrist work. You gotta be able to whip that shit up. Whoa, this shit's fire. Whoa. My favorite beat that I've ever made right now, probably Trap Star by Quavo. It's like an old SoundCloud joint that we made. Buzzin' by me and Party Next Door and Lil Yachty. That's an old one too. Motorsport, Nice For What, and Butterfly Effect. All right, this one's done. I'm gonna pour this in the bowl and then let it cool off for a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of do like the similar thing to when I made the vanilla. Two eggs. I'm gonna do one and a half cups of whipped cream, a cup of sugar. I'm actually doing pretty good with the quarantine life, you know? I'm very inspired. I'm making a lot of music. I'm playing video games. It doesn't really like affect my everyday life like a lot of other people. The only thing that's really changing about my life is that like I'm not in the studio with a lot of artists, you know? Put a little vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna go crazy with the Hershey's strawberry syrup. Mm, put too much syrup in, so put more cream. Put more milk. I've never used this before in my life. Trying to figure out how to use it. Is this a joke? <laughs> so we gotta use that one? So we attempted to set up another ice cream maker before it didn't work. Let me try this one. Here we go. This one doesn't work though. Like something's supposed to be moving, right? You have to add ice in these, bro. I know, but you can't even get the thing moving. We don't read manuals around here, we just figure it out, you know? It's working on it. Alright, I need tons of ice. Alright, so we're gonna start the chocolate ice cream now. So they've been churning for about an hour and a half right now, and we're gonna put them in the freezer for a couple hours. So we're gonna start the strawberry one now. I came across YNW Melly's music in like 2018 and I was like, oh, this kid's dope. I wanna get in the studio with him. The first time we were in the studio, we made like six records and Banana Split was one of them. I decided just like to go ahead and make it one of my singles and I got Lil Dirk on it because I feel like those guys together on a record would like complement each other. I became a success and I'm very proud of it. It's actually almost there. It's looking good. This is like a miracle. So this one's looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna move this one. Yeah, it's turning out pretty good. Melting quick though. So I'm scooping the ice cream right now. I'm making a banana split. <laughs> this one. This one's like really sticky. Some chocolate in there. The strawberry. I think this one might have turned out the best. It needs like a little syrup though. It looks pretty good. Like honestly. <laughs> This looks pretty fucking good, man. Vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, banana split, produced by Murder Beats. Mm. Wow, it's like melting like... I'm actually pumped, this is crazy. I give myself a 10 out of 10, like this is amazing work, you know what I'm saying? Chef Murder in the kitchen. We're gonna have our own cooking series coming soon, baking series, all that. We just made a banana split sundae from scratch, made my own ice cream. We grew the bananas in the backyard. This is like amazing. Gordon Ramsay, I challenge you. You guys got the recipe at home, so I hope it works out for y'all. 
Take care. Have a good night. Thank you guys for having me.